I don't even know anymore. Uh, I don't know what to say because I haven't filmed a video in so long. Hi guys! I just want to give you a big ol' hug. I'm so sorry I've been gone for so long. I'm planning a wedding. I'm getting married in three weeks as some of you may already know and of course I've been super stressed and I've just been taking care of so many things and I really just haven't had that much time to film a video. I recently flew down to Texas and I'll be here until the wedding. So that's why. And this light is so bright. I figured a good video to begin again with would be a monthly favorite. So these are products that I've been using for the past month or two since I didn't do um, whatever month was the month before this one. I didn't do an April favorite, so this is kind of like a combination of the two. So these are in no particular order. I know I usually like to categorize them. Should I categorize them? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. They're all categorized. I don't know why, but ever since I graduated high school and started going to college, I became like the, the queen of grease and oil. That sounds disgusting. I got way more greasy hair and my skin started to get really oily. I think it's because I moved to a drier climate and my body was trying to compensate, like produce more oil and more. So I've been using this Batiste dry shampoo because someone recommended it to me. This makes my hair smell so good. My fiance compliments my hair whenever I use this because it smells so floral -y, I guess. Just fresh and florally. I had super greasy hair today. I used this in my hair and it's so much drier. <laughs> I was really interested in getting a Clarisonic uh, about a month ago and didn't really want to spend like $200. So instead I read some reviews online of different facial brushes that I could use and I found this one. It's the Olay Pro X. Um, it's got a longer head, it's much smaller, um, it only has one head but it is replaceable and there are two settings. So there's the slower one and the faster one. Anyways, I've fallen in love with this. I've been using exfoliants with this and I've also been using creams. And I found that I like the creams better because I feel like this activates any kind of facial wash that you use. It just feels like it's working better and it gets rid of the dry skin. And if you guys would like to see how I use this and um, how amazing this is, let me know because that would be fun. Secondly, I've been using Garnet Clean Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. I bought this initially for my fiance because it smells like cologne a little bit. It definitely is geared more to men and it's for oily skin. And it's so cool because every time I use this, my face just turns matte. Like, you know, usually after you wash your face, your face can be a little bit shiny. This makes it matte, like just completely flat and just sucks out all of the oil without making your skin too dry. Um, it really did clear my complexion. I love the combination of these two together. And yeah, so far I've really been liking it. First of all, I was using a pack of Ardell Wispy Eyelashes. There were four of them, four sets, and they ran out. And I found the exact same eyelashes under a different brand name. So it's kind of weird. I guess it could be Ardell or Salon Perfect, but it's these Demi Wispies. And they're kind of thin, but I'm wearing them right now, actually. I really like them. So this style of lashes has been my favorite. This is my second box of four. They look the exact same. It's just a different brand name. Um, secondly, I've been using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and it looks so banged up, it really does. It's the only thing I don't really like about it is that the packaging wears off and it just starts to look really crappy after a while. But I have been loving this. Oh, I can tell that they modeled the packaging to look a little bit like the NARS concealer, but I love it. It has great coverage. Um, I've been choosing this over my NARS. It's thinner, um, it's easier to blend, and for me it just matches my skin tone better. But Next, it's this e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip, and this one is in um, Lilac Petal. 
and I just fell in love with this. It is amazing. I use it as a liquid highlight and also as an eyeshadow sometimes. So it's just like, um, it really is just liquid highlighter to me. I know it looks a little bit pink or peach-ish, but um, it goes on really light and stays all day. And I really like the way it looks. Next is this Duo Lash Glue. I may have also mentioned this too. I don't remember. It's in the dark tone, so you really can't see the glue at all when it dries. And um, the thing I like about this the most is that it is so long wearing. I've slept in it and my eyelashes didn't budge at all. The only thing I didn't like about it is that my eyes aren't sensitive really, but sometimes... Well, I guess it was more when I first started wearing it. Um, my eyes would get really watery and sting a lot. I could tell it's from the glue. But it doesn't really do that anymore. I'm guessing I just got used to it. But at first, it was really hard to wear eyelashes for a while because it stung so badly. My eyes would hurt so bad. Oh, this has been my all-time favorite. Eyeliner is my weakness. So when I found this, I just, I'm just so happy. I'm really trying to do freelance makeup and so this has been my saving grace because it's easier to apply on other people and it's easier to apply on me. It's the Tarte Tardist um, Clay Paint Liner. Woo I'm a little bit late in the game getting this because this came out a few months ago. But I finally got it. I needed something that was going to be long wearing for the wedding and I heard this was dang near waterproof so I just figured I'd go ahead and try it out but I'm so in love with it. The brush is amazing. Um, it's really easy to apply because it is bent <laughs> and it makes it easier to create a line and do the wing. Um, you have so much control and it's liquid so I find that with pencil you can skip a lot and you have to press down hard and to stretch out your eye. With this it's such a dark color and it comes out so pigmented that you don't need to stretch out your eye. You just draw it on and then you're done. It's just this smooth line and it's beautiful. And I also like that um, it's so easy to get out of the bottle. It's got this little scoop so you just scoop it out and you're not wasting any product. This is just genius and I love the packaging. It's so cute and I love that it comes with the brush. Next one is one that I wasn't so fond of the first time I used it. You're gonna be surprised. It was the Benefit Professional and I, when I first used it, I got a little sample of it, like a tiny sample, and I hated it. I was like, what's the point? Then I decided to go ahead and give it another try, so I bought the mini version, and I really loved it. There's kind of like a specific technique I use to get the best use out of it. Um, I really like press it into my pores. I don't really rub it around. I press it in, and then I'll rub out the excess, but... Um, I really, really love it, and I'm combining it with the um, Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, and so my skin has been looking so great. It's been looking absolutely poreless because of the combination of the two. So, yeah, this has been wonderful, and I really, really liked it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you have not subscribed already, please do so right now. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any recommendations on videos you'd like to see while I'm here in Texas, please put that down in the description or in the comment box below. Thank you so much for sticking around and for being so dang patient because I've just been. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.